Hi, this is Matt Oliver again from the University of Delaware, and I am one of the many ocean scientists working on Project Swarm. In our last introduction video, we thought a lot about food, specifically food at a grocery store. This is one of my favorite things to think about. We wondered together, how did all this food end up here? Is it because the grocery store is right next to a whole bunch of farms producing wonderful local food? Or is it because the grocery stores in the city get their food delivered from trucks and trains? Well, near Palmer Station, which is on the West Antarctic Peninsula, on Anvers Island, right here, we have our own kind of grocery store. This is the Palmer Canyon Hotspot. The customers are the Adeli and Gentoo Penguin, and the food is Antarctic krill, which can get moved around by currents. In Project Swarm, we have four major hypotheses that we want to test. To test these, we need to use different technologies. In this video, we're going to talk about getting data from penguins. The two main penguin species we'll be working with are Adeli and Gen 2 penguins. Both of these penguins nest on bare rock, and there isn't a lot of it to go around. So sometimes these penguins nest nearby each other. This can lead to some trouble in the neighborhood. The Adeli penguin is a truly polar, ice-loving penguin, while the Gentoo penguin is a subpolar, ice-avoiding penguin, and their ranges overlap in Palmer Station. Adeli penguins have all black heads with a white ring around their eyes, and Gentoo penguins have a white mark on their heads. But once they get over their squabbles, these penguins get into a group and head out to forage for krill. They dive deep to look for yummy, yummy krill. Mmm. And they bring it back and regurgitate it for their chicks. Tasty. These chicks grow pretty fast, slowly transforming into adults. So picking the right kind of penguins to tag takes practice. You want to make sure you get the right ones, usually two parents in the nest feeding a chick. Sometimes they're a little surprised when they're chosen but they're more than willing to help out the scientists. Our team attaches a tag to the back feathers of the penguin using special tape. You can see the tag going on here with two types of sensors on it. One is a satellite sensor and one is a depth sensor. We release these penguins back to their nests and they usually have a fun story to tell their friends. Eventually, these penguins head out to forage, and our tags record their movements and their dives. When they return to their colony, we can use a special antenna to find them and our tag again and get the data that we need to understand how they use this biological hotspot. This is what the data looks like. The brown and red tracks seen here represent the movements of Adelie penguins. You can see that they leave their nests near Palmer Station and go out and forage over Palmer Canyon, the biological hotspot. There are also green tracks here. Those represent Gen 2 penguins, and they forage in slightly different places, but they're actually quite similar. Not only are penguins moving horizontally, but we also get their diving movements. There are several types of underwater behaviors that we can see here. One is that they're transiting at the surface. So this is depth, and this is time, and this is a penguin just swimming right at the surface. And then at one point, it starts to do what's called search diving. It's diving down, but not really feeding. It's looking for krill. We can also see where they're forage diving, and those dives have wiggles associated with them. So they dive down, and then down here where they're wiggling around, we presume that that is where they have found krill to feed on. And sometimes they dive deep and then forage at a different site. So we can get when they're transiting, how deep they're diving, and how deep they're foraging. Now all of these behaviors are actually in a file that your teacher has that looks something like this. This may be an Excel file that they've given you, or it could be on a Google Doc. And it's a list of columns. In each one of these columns, we have species, tag ID, sex, the island they came from, some timestamps, 
Argos location, latitude, longitude, date, dive depth, forage depth, and their behavior. It's helpful to go through the metadata, which is this tab right here. This tab tells you all about the data that are in those columns. So, the column name species, ADPE stands for Adeli, GEPE stands for Gentoo. There, those are two of the three species that are in this location. This file has animal tag data from 14 Adelis and seven Gentoo's penguins. The tag ID is the unique identifier for each penguin. You can think of this as the name of the penguin. There's the sex, either male or female, for the penguin. The nest location, this is the location of the nest. This is where penguins return to bring, uh, to bring food for their chicks. Tor is Torgerson Island near Palmer Station. That's right here. And this is Bisco penguins at Bisco Point, which are predominantly Gen 2 penguins. This is also the Argos location quality. So what our confidence in in the location? So at each one of these latitude and longitudes, you'll see here, latitude and longitudes, there is a location quality. Three being the best and one being the worst confidence in that position. There's also the date, which is month, year, uh, month, day, year, hour, and minute. Their dive depth. So we looked at their diving and we, we saw when their, uh, what the depth of their dive was and what their forage it was and also what their behavior was at that time. So if we look back over at our thing, we think about this Adeli penguin. Here's its name or its tag ID. It's a male. It came from Torgerson Island. This is a time step. This is in seconds since 1970. It might be useful to you, but this is also the, their regular date. Here's the longitude and latitude, their Argos location. What were they doing at this time? Well, they were not diving, they were not foraging, and they have behavior of one, which means they were on land or on the ice. Now, when we come down to another penguin here, here we see they have a behavior of four, which is forage diving, which means they were foraging at 6.65 meters, and but their dive depth, overall dive depth, was 6.95 meters. And so we have the Adelis first, and we have a whole list of data. Here's some Gen 2s down here that you guys can explore. Um, there's plenty of data here to look at their diving and foraging behaviors and their latitude and longitude. And this is the data that you saw in the video that we just showed you of the penguins swimming around. So this is that exact data. As always, uh, we have a big team of scientists that are willing to work with you with this data as you explore it to try and maybe answer our hypotheses or come up with your own hypotheses that work on the physics, the phytoplankton, the krill, or the top predators. And don't forget our wonderful education team that will be helping your schools out. Um, and we look forward to working with you.